Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. I am back with Danny and Jake, and today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna go walk a creek that Danny knows about where he's found some very cool bottles. So I'm super excited that he's taking us out there to see what we can find. There's been a lot of rain, so hopefully that means some stuff has washed out and is there waiting for us to find it. The only issue is right now I'm having trouble focusing because I realized I can't find my wallet. You guys know how it is when you lose your wallet. It's literally the worst thing in the world. And I need to get gas on the way home, so I don't really know what's gonna happen there, but I think I have a way that I can find it. Let me show you all that right now. So check out this little app right here called Chipolo. And if you click right here, I can ring to find my wallet with a solar powered tracker that's inside of it. It's somewhere around here. I swear I hear it. You know, Duckman's been following me around a little bit today. I wonder, I wonder if, look it. I bet Duckman has it. Duckman! Duckman! What are you doing with my wallet? He took it! Look at that! Duckman! I told you not to take my wallet. Get on, Duckman. Get on with yourself. Get on out of here. Okay, we got it, my friends. So today's video is sponsored by this really awesome brand called Exter, and they were kind enough to send me this really nice smart wallet right here. So that app I showed you, Chipolo, has this little solar powered tracker attached that it comes with and you link it up and you can throw it in your wallet right there and you can actually look at the GPS coordinates on Google Maps as well. So if you lose your wallet, you can go find exactly where that thing's at. And another really cool feature about this thing is this little trigger right here. Check this out. Boom! Right there. You can throw all your cards right here. So it's so much easier than opening your wallet, grabbing your card, trying to find the right one. You can just pull that little trigger right there grab your credit or debit card like that, pay for what you're paying for. It is really an incredible wallet. So guys, there's a link down in the description below, an affiliate link to Exter where you guys can check out a wallet too. And if you wanna get one for yourself, it'll help me out as well. So I appreciate it. I appreciate Exter sponsoring this video. Now let's go find some treasure. Where is Danny taking us, y'all? <laughs> this is the jungle. <laughs> he said we'll never find our way out. This is true. Oh gosh. Yes, we're getting very close. Check this out, guys. We're about to walk right down in the creek. Notice where a beaver had been chewing on that stick right there. That's kind of crazy looking. It also smells nice. I feel like I can smell the wood. <laughs> All right, let's get down there. Well, y'all are gonna make fun of me because it's just a little over 50 degrees and I am freezing cold. And normally here in Florida, right about now, it's about mid 80s, so this is a little weird. I know cold is normal for a lot of you, so you're probably like, deal with it, Kyle. You'll be all right. I will be. It's just a little chilly, but we'll be all good. All right, Danny's spotting a bottle. What kind of bottle it be? It does look like a cork top medicine, something. But will it be embossed? <laughs> is it embossed? Ah. Oh. That's an old bottle. That's a good sign. All right, it's silty, but I'm pretty sure I felt a bottle under my foot. Ugh! It is super modern. Oh, well. <laughs> the clay in this creek is like insane looking. It's really cool. I haven't seen any signs of fossils. Sometimes clay can indicate that. This doesn't seem fossiliferous, but it's still really cool to look at. This is kind of funny right here, guys. Look at that. That's like definitely where a deer slipped on <laughs> the clay trying to walk down in the creek and he just slid like that. Poor dude. So Danny is checking depth for us and it's deep right there. So me and Jake gonna have to go around somewhere. I'm about to climb this bank. <laughs> oh dude, this is, this is dangerous y'all. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, I'm going up further. There's poison ivy up here. Now to shimmy on down. This is gonna be slick. <laughs> it's gonna be. Oh no. Oh, I'm gonna follow the deer. All these deer tracks. They know. They know the way to go. Look at this clay. Sloppy. All right. I made it. Look at that right up on the side. That's a busted whistle soda. Brooklyn on the bottom. That's pretty cool. Sad that that was busted up, but maybe there's more. What is it, Daddy? 
Bud Light. <laughs> no, that's not what we want. <laughs> Look at this. The deer come down here like crazy, and that's an insanely steep bank. There's some crazy animals. So I crawled up on the side to get around a deep spot, and I found a boat. <laughs> How does a boat get here? <laughs> Way up here. It appears I've reached a predicament. All right, wish me luck, y'all. I'm gonna have to just slide on down here. <laughs> I'm gonna throw this down. <laughs> oh God, that's a long way. And, all right, watch out, man. Here I come. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna brace, I'm just gonna brace myself. Oh, this isn't too bad. Oh God. <laughs> okay, made it. Oh no. I thought this was just a normal run of the mill ketchup bottle, so I didn't film it, but this is actually an older bottle. It's blown in a mold. The seam doesn't go all the way to the top and it's a pretty cool shape. That would have been cool if there was embossing in there. There's not, but it's still kind of a neat bottle. I like it. It's getting kind of silty as we walk downstream because of where we walked in. So on the way back up, we're probably going to see a bunch of stuff that we missed, which is very exciting. Oh, God. I'm falling. What do that be? Ugh. A modern beer. All right. Now we await our silt to flow downstream so we can walk back up to where we walked in and probably see a bunch of stuff we missed hopefully so also it's just beautiful out here what a great creek oh yeah this is way better y'all the water is way more clear going up this way without our silt following us down all right guys i got a milk bottle right here i can feel i can feel embossing on it so we're gonna pull it up look at that foremost Foremost dairy. That is awesome, man. That is sweet. It's perfect, too. It's in great shape. Look at that, guys. Foremost embossed milk bottle. Well, that's exciting. A bunch of modern stuff till now, but now we got a really cool milk bottle, so that is a great sign. Nice. All right. Here it is. Best find of the day. What? <laughs> what is it? I don't even know what it is. Dude, what? No, this thing, is, it's not its not a head. It's like, well, it's a head, but it's like, this is the whole thing. Like, this doesn't go attached to a body. It's from 1987, Hasbro. <laughs> All right, y'all let us know in the comments, what is that even from? That is creepy. <laughs> Look how gorgeous all these ferns are following the bank. It looks like Jurassic Park. I see a pterodactyl fly. <laughs> This is kind of cool. I just prematurely picked it up without filming it, but that is an old bottle with like an applied top right there, and it's got that weird top. It's that green glass. That is old right there. That could be like 1890s or something. That's pretty dang cool. So we're looking closely right here now. I mean, it's weird because it's just mixed in with literally tons and tons of modern beers and stuff like that, but I guess you never know. Could have washed in from upstream. Look at this little bottle that Danny just picked out, guys. That's pretty cool. Oh, man. That's blown in a mold. I wonder what that would have been used for. A little medicine, little pills. That's gorgeous. Nice. I need to start filming everything because I just picked that up, and it's a embossed Lysol. Look at that. But it's busted at the top, sadly. That would have been a really cool bottle right there. I haven't found one like that. I'll pull it out of the creek anyways just to get it out, but... That is pretty cool. All right, time to go around again and hopefully not fall. <laughs> Made it! That is a long way down. Gonna go around this way. All right, I'm back down into the creek. Hopefully, not to my demise. Oh, it's a little deeper here than I thought. I'm just gonna whoop, oh, and flood my boot. Okay. Danny just got a 1915 Coke over there, but the top's busted off. But that's very cool. Check this out, guys, right there. I feel I feel the embossing on it. Wait, am I am I crazy? Oh <laughs> I felt embossing, but it was just measurements. It's the medicine bottle. I thought it had something else on it. It's still cool though. <laughs> that is nice. Check that out. I recognize that shape right there. Yep. It's hard to see it, but that's the Heinz Honey Almond. What is it? 
That one actually might be something different. I don't know. I can barely read it. It's like A-S something. Maybe it is Heinz. It's weird. Poland. Poland M-E. I don't know. That's cool though. All right, y'all, that's about it for the creek walking section of this video. Pretty dang excited about that embossed milk bottle. And now we're actually going to take a little bit of a drive and go to that dump site that Danny has taken me to before. And we're going to do some digging, hopefully find some more amazing stuff to top off the day. Let's do it. All right, my friends, we've made it to the dump. It's time. It's time to dig a giant hole and see what kind of treasures await us beneath the earth. Let's do it. Danny's already found him a spot. Jake's already found him a spot. I must decide. Maybe I'll wait for them to find something and then join them. <laughs> no, that's the lazy man's way. Uh, Jake's are, are you already finding a bottle here? <laughs> what? Jake already found a bottle. Is it embossed? No, no it's slick. It's, it's cool though. <laughs> I'm gonna try a test hole right here, y'all. There it be. My first bottle. Oh, it's a screw top. I thought it was cork top. It is an unembossed, sadly, but a complete bottle, so a good sign. There it goes. Three in one oil company. And it is complete. Got a nice little aqua color in there, I think. That's going to look great. Cleaned up. Awesome. I just threw that out of the hole. It's one of those ponds jars. Those are pretty dang neat right there. A lot of people like those. I want to show you guys right here what I'm getting into. So if you look, that's kind of that's kind of the layer you want. It's like a burn ash layer. And look, it's part of a cork bottle right there. And I got the base of something right there that may or may not be complete. I'm not totally sure. I'm just going to keep going and see if we can get it out. And just like that, after a light scratching, I got it out and it was an ink bottle. That's sweet. It says this container made in USA. I love ink bottles. That is really cool. Oh, I think there's embossing on the top of it. It says Waterman's on top. Waterman's ink. That is really cool. I think that's the first like embossed ink bottle I've ever found. And I love ink bottles because you never know what they were writing with these things. They could have been writing love letters or hate letters or songs or who knows what. It's really cool to think about. So that's awesome. I will find the bottle. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it slipped on a brick. <laughs> I just collapsed a bunch of the hole here because I'm trying to get it level because I was starting to tunnel. Don't want to tunnel too much. That makes it kind of hard to dig. So I'm trying to clear it out and kind of eyeballing for bottles that may have fallen while I was collapsing the sides. What the heck? Something fell in my boot and it don't feel right. What the? <laughs> Look at this. That was in my boot. <laughs> it was a piece of a plate. That is not safe. <laughs> There's popping out right here, guys. Look at that. Hey Heinz, honey almond cream. That's my uh, microphone, by the way. Sorry. <laughs> Heinz honey almond cream. That's a cool one. Little tiny guy, screw top. I will accept it. I see he's a bottle. What's it gonna be? Ugh. It's embossed. Well, kind of embossed. It's one of those medicine bottles with the measurements. Those are very common here. Probably would have had a paper label of some sort there. A pretty bottle. I see a bottle, but I think it's one of those medicines with the crazy measurements again because they curse me. Uh, wait, actually, it's shaped a little different. What are you? Wait, is that words? Oh, never mind. It's something embossed, dude. It's something embossed. It's actually something embossed. Complete. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it's complete, dude. Oh, what we got here? Hagen's Magnolia Balm. That's awesome. Dan, you got one of these recently too, right? Yeah. Hagen's Magnolia Balm. That is so cool. What was that? That's like some sort of cream for your face or something? Sunburn, Sunburn ointment. That's cool. Well, that turned out to be a very nice bottle. I thought it was going to be one of those 
common medicines, but that is cool. Is this a bottle? Oh, it's a big boy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got another embossed bottle. Oh, God. Oh. Sorry, guys. I don't know how long you can see my microphone there for. Oh, oh. thank you, sir. Oh, it's under something. Oh, and there's also... What, what in the world is that? Ow. Okay, okay. This one's gonna involve a little work. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. I think it's loose. Oh, it's complete. What? What does it say? Why can't I read it? Oriental cream. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, it's a little bit, got, got a little lip chip right there. But it displays good, like that. Oriental cream. I think some of that cream's still in there. Didn't notice when I found this one. Corad's New York Oriental Cream. <laughs> That's a really cool bottle. I'm happy with that. What have we here? Please. Ah, it's unembossed. It's a complete medicine bottle with no embossing. Would have been a paper label. But I ain't doing bad at all, I tell you. Danny's over here finding these cool relics, man. That was just sitting on the surface right there. Some sort of little hanger. Right there. Yeah, could have been in a vehicle or something like that. Oh yeah, a little buckle. That's neat. I love those little relics. That is a cool find. Sweet. I got to something right here, but I can't quite tell what it is yet. It's not a soda, I don't believe. Is it a Lysol? It is. Very much looks like a Lysol, but it's got no embossing. But I definitely think it was something like that, and it's still got some juice in there anybody want to drink it <laughs> don't do it bring you down in the hole here because that's the bottom of some sort of large bottle it's a squarish shaped one it's going to take me some work getting that out but i'm gonna work on it and then get back to you all right guys while i was scratching the big boy trying to get it out look at this that's embossed right there and it's a medicine bottle ah what do it be? McCormick. McCormick and Company, Baltimore. That's like, there's been a lot of these found here. McCormick and Company, Baltimore. That's cool. That's the first one I've ever found. So that's exciting. Not a bad little bottle right there. And then over here. And I'm going to keep working on that bigger one. Okay, guys. I think this one's finally ready to come out. Oh, it's a lot shorter than I expected. Oh, it does have something on it. New Joel. New Joel. New Joel. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I know it's so weird shaped. I thought it was going to be long because of how big it was. But it's just like short and fat. New Joel. New Joel. I don't know what that is, guys. Y'all let me know in the comments below if you know. I'll be looking that up and seeing. There's no side embossing or anything like that. But that is a very cool bottle. Who knows? Look at this, guys. Trying to widen the hole. It's a screw top, but it is embossed. Sloan's Liniment. That's a pretty cool bottle right there. It was like way up high off to the side. That is cool. We look at right here what just fell out of the side. Oh, there's embossing on the side of it. Castoria. That's some weird medicine, right? Charles H. Fletcher's Castoria. <laughs> Why? What? Isn't that the stuff that makes you vomit? <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> That's crazy. That's a cool bottle, though. Uh, time to just lay down on my pile. <laughs> Full of broken glass. Probably not a great idea. Uh, look at all these bottles, though. Look at all of them. They're so cool. There's so many. Quite a few embossed ones. I'm a happy boy. McCormick and Co. Baltimore, New Joel, Sloan's Liniment, Hagen's Magnolia Balm, Oriental Cream. This is the Castoria. Nice little ink well right there. Is this one embossed? That one was slick. The three in one oil. That's really cool. Got a couple of these measurement medicine bottles and this really cool Heinz Honey Almond Cream. Some very awesome bottles in that spot, and not really 
a giant hole necessarily so that's some pretty good stuff for not moving a ton of dirt all right y'all that's gonna be about it we are destroyed <laughs> walking a creek all morning long and then coming and digging our butts off for biles we found some really really cool stuff look there's the hole one of the holes at least danny had a goal, hole going over there he already filled up and now we're gonna fill in this hole and that's not gonna be fun either, but it's worth it for all the amazing bottles. So if y'all enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. Thank these two down in the comments below for letting us come and dig here. As always, it's been a great time and I will see y'all in the next video.